guys, how's it going? Chess back again with episode number 9 of the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One. And we're starting again with another cup game. And now, of course, in the previous episode, we had two 0 0 draws and a 1 all draw against Milan. And we need to start picking up the wins. We aren't going to get a better chance than that at this stage of the season than a game at home against Sheffield Wednesday in the round of 16 of the Capital One Cup. Now, of all the teams that are still left in the competition, other than Bolton and, say, Bristol City, this is probably one of the easiest games we could have had in this particular competition at this stage. So uh, we were hoping to start scoring goals and start picking up wins because that is exactly what we need to do and that is exactly what we did early on in this one. Eden Hazard with a glorious chip there really had no option but to try and lift it over Chris Kirkland in goal. Really nice ball through to Oscar. Unfortunately, the shot was straight at him, but Eden Hazard, quick feet as well. The control and the shot in the same movement before the ball hit the floor was crucial in getting that shot on target and into the back of the net. But they were going to have a few chances of their own. Connor Wickham here breaking free. That's just wide of that far post. Mark Schwartz are absolutely rooted to the spot. Had no chance of getting down to it. And uh, Connor Wickham will be very, very disappointed that he wasn't able to get Sheffield Wednesday back into the game there. Another slow-mo replay down to that left-hand side. And that's just whiskers wide. Sheffield Wednesday really coming close to causing an upset there and get themselves back into the game. But it's Diego Costa in behind in the early stages of the second half. He's going to turn back inside, find Eden Hazard inside the box. He's going to try and find that far bottom corner, similar to how he did against AC Milan in the previous episode. And unfortunately, this time, it just goes wide of the uh, wide of the target. It wasn't the best of efforts. And we aren't able to extend our lead. But we're going to get another chance here. Andre Scherler breaking free. Fortunate to pick the ball up off the defender after a mistake. Lifts the ball over, going for another chipped effort. And this time it hits the outside of the post and goes wide. Even closer there to a second goal in this one. And you'll see from the replay, he actually just lifted it. Lionel Messi style with his left foot. Really, really nice effort. And he couldn't have been more unlucky with that coming back off the outside of the post. But I made a change to try and freshen things up. We brought on Willian for Oscar into uh, around about the hour mark, I think it is. But uh, we're actually going to carry this on straight away at yeah, 66th minute. Uh, Willian is going to be involved straight straight away here they're going to try and play the ball out from defense and we're actually going to pick it back up off them with a poor ball forward Willian is involved in the move. He's going to try and play in Eden Hazard, who's got a couple of options inside him. Again, it's a poor pass from Hazard, which, Hazard, which is disappointing. But Willian again wins the ball back. This time, Eden Hazard plays an absolute killer ball. Through to Willian. Fantastic first shot. Unfortunately, it comes back off the post. But this time, we get the rebound in our favour. And he's able to pop the ball into the back of the net. Make it 2-0 and overall win us the tie. Put it to bed. And from there on in, it was just a formality of us seeing out the game. Making sure that we're through to the quarterfinals of that competition, as you can see Liverpool beat Newcastle 3-0 Crystal Palace are through as well as our Hull with a dominating display against as our Tottenham rather with a dominating display against Hull and City scrape through 3-2 against Bolton Wanderers with uh, the rest of the three ties still to be played but we're back to Champions League action it's another cup game in the second one here now we played Zenit St Petersburg at home in the opening game of the Champions League this year and we're able to come out with a 2-0 victory late on two goals from Diego Costa were able to win us that one in the last 10 minutes but as you can see Zenit at the top of the groups, so it's not going to be a, an easy game by any stretch. We sit second, level on points with AC Milan. And Zenit started this one in exactly the same vein of form that they did the game at Stamford Bridge. Really on the front foot, throwing men forward, pressing me when I had the ball. Really just throwing men into that last third, trying to get an early goal. And they're going to come close here with a header. Unfortunately, they aren't able to get a second flick on it there from the second striker. And it's just an easy pick up for Petr Cech. But they're going to get a second corner here. Again, it's another deep delivery. Lofted header comes back off the bar. Petr Cech picks it up and almost takes it over the line on the recovery. Really, really close there to us going. 1-0 down. If that had actually gone over the line, I would have been extremely disappointed and extremely angry at uh, another physics engine uh, fail. But uh, Fernando Torres takes that ball down beautifully, holds off the challenge of the defender, and that is a thumping finish across the goalkeeper into that far top corner. A really, really resounding effort from Fernando Torres there. Exactly what we needed, catching them on the counter-attack as they threw bodies forward. They left spaces at the back. Torres found himself in one of those good strengths to hold off the defender, and that is a world-class finish on his weak foot as well doesn't really score too many on his left foot in real life doesn't really score too many in real life to be completely honest at the minute but uh, it's a fantastic finish and we will take that 1-0 up just before half time but they were going to try and get themselves back in it before the break Kurzikov's breaking it inside the box here plays in Bistrov and he really should do better with that effort he's got so much of the goal to aim at there on the left hand side you see from the replay checks on the right hand side of his goal there's a good three or four feet 
of that bottom left hand corner for him to slot the ball into and he just isn't able to do it but we're going to have a final attack of the half he then has a cuts inside again it's poor from Hazard his uh, delivery hasn't been that good in uh, in recent times it's only that long shot against Milan that stood out and Fernando Torres pick that out son now you'll be able to see from the replay it did take a deflection which kind of gave it a little bit more loft it kind of kicked the ball up over the goalkeeper rather than it uh, whipping down into the bottom corner you can see it better from the second replay but there it loops up goalkeeper goes up can't quite get there can't change his feet quick enough but you'll see it comes off the defender's knee there as he just puts his uh, leg up to try and block it an extremely realistic goal to be completely honest that is exactly the sort of goal you'd see in real life very very pleased with how that went in and uh, we went in at the half 2-0 up but Czech has to rush out of his box there to stop them from uh, getting one on one in that situation they play another long ball forward Kurzikov lofted ball over the top it's Bistrov again with another great chance lifts it over Petitek and again it goes wide of that far post Bistrov could have scored two goals easily in this one and they could be level but it's nice to see Juan Mata being able to come back on the pitch obviously he was out for four weeks with that hyper extended knee that he picked up in the game a couple of, uh, couple of weeks ago and unfortunately he's come back earlier than first predicted they said four weeks in the email from the uh, from the physio department he's pleased to uh, to have him back actually and he isn't going to be involved in this move he's not going to have a touch on the ball but he's definitely making the runs to draw the defenders away from where the ball is and it leaves Eden Hazard in a lot of space Torres trying to pick up his hat-trick with a rebound from the header and unfortunately he isn't able to do so it would have been really really fitting for him to pick up a three goal haul there but we are able to pick up a three point haul and that is going to stand us in good stead for progressing through to the next round of the Champions League but we get an interesting job offer here really really intriguing one that I'm not sure whether to take or not so leave me a comment down below let me know do we take this job offer for the Ivory Coast into the world heading into the World Cup in Rio 2014 you've got Yaya Torre you've got Didier Drogba you've got uh, Dumbia Salomon Kalou Colo Torre, Czech Teote, just so many players that I've, Ivory Coast have at their disposal, it might be a decent job to go for, or we can hold off and wait and see if we get another uh, job offer from a big European side closer to the time like we did with France in the Tottenham career mode. Let me know down below, but we're going to come into the Barclays Premier League again this time. It's got West Brom at home now, as you can see we're sat 7th, a little ways off the pace. Now this game was com really, really controversial in uh, in real life, obviously Chelsea picking up that 94th minute penalty for a dodgy decision from the referee to pick up a 2-2 draw and rescue a point in that one and we're going to come close there early on decent save from the goalkeeper the ball's going to come in Gary Cahill's going to go up not quite going to get there Diego Costa plays up Ramirez wonderful technique on the strike comes back off the post doesn't squeeze in and Scherler isn't able to put it in at the second attempt as well really really unfortunate there that we aren't able to take a 1-0 lead in the opening five minutes but it wasn't until the second half that we were going to get another good effort one matter turning inside and again we're going to hit the post and this time there isn't a blue shirt on the end of the follow-up and West Brom are able to get the ball clear and it's really frustrating me right now that we aren't able to pick up goals and wins in the Premier League. Hazard is going to play the ball through early to Ramirez and he takes it early as well. So much of the goal to aim at. Similar to Bistrov. If I'd have kept that low and tried to put it in the bottom corner, perhaps that might have gone into the back of the net. But I tried to go for that top corner to put it out the keeper's reach and I put too much on it and it flew over the top of the bar. Really, really disappointing. But we're trying to catch him again on the counter attack here. Juan Mata lost the ball over to Diego Costa but he just can't get his shot away quick enough really really disappointing and we take another nil nil draw in the Premier League that's our sixth draw this year in the opening 10 games in the Premier League you'll see from the table on your screen right now we are undefeated but four wins six draws leaves us on 18 points after just over 25 percent of the way through this season so far we just hit that quarter mark and uh, unfortunately we aren't in a European spot we're not too far away from the European spots but we're not in the European spots right now. So we've definitely got it all to do when it comes to league football. We're going well in European competition and in domestic cup football as well. And of course, in a, in a few weeks' time, we're going to have the FA Cup to deal with as well. Also, we're going to have the January transfer window, which is going to be crucial when it comes to trying to get ourselves into those European spots. We're going to need to make the right signing at the right time and also we're going to need to get our strikers back fit of course Samuel Eto'o is yet to return from uh, from injury and he's also yet to hit form so we 
definitely have the players at our disposal right now to start scoring the goals and I definitely want to bring in an extra player to help score those goals. A midfield player perhaps to try and create things going forward whilst remaining solidly at the back. We've mentioned Paul Pogba, we've mentioned Freddy Guarín, we've mentioned Arturo Vidal. That is the sort of player I'm going to be going to get in January. So do feel free to leave the video a like, guys, if you could be so kind. That would be absolutely superb. If we could hit 60 to 70 again, then I will love you forever. And uh, if you aren't subscribed to the channel already, then do feel free to do so. There will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over that subscribe button for you to do so. And if you missed the previous episode, then there is an annotation on screen as well over that little snippet of gameplay you can see there from the previous episode, which was last Friday. But uh, that is going to bring this one to a close. So I will see you tomorrow with more Chelsea career mode and that is all for today so i will see you next time